Hi friends, today let's dive into the teaser trailer for Frozen 2. As you probably know by now, the teaser trailer for Frozen 2 dropped a couple days ago and boy was it good. It raised so many questions and didn't give anything away. One thing though that really stood out to me is this scene. What are all of these crystals floating around in midair and why does Anna seem worried or even scared? I decided to turn to the original fairy tale that this story is based off of, the Snow Queen. In this story, there is a magic mirror that was made by an evil hobgoblin. The mirror's magic meant that anything that you saw in the mirror or through the mirror became ugly and negative. You could only see flaws in the people that you loved and even in yourself, and the environment around you became ugly. It went so far as to affect your thoughts, they became dark, evil and depressed. One day, the mirror was broken, and the shards of the broken mirror flew on the breeze. They entered people's eyes and hearts and changed the way that they saw the world around them and the way that they saw themselves. This situation was fixed, much like in the first Frozen movie, through an act of true love. Only an act of true love can thaw a frozen heart. Obviously, the idea of the frozen heart is one of the main themes from the first Frozen movie, but what about everything else? We never see any crystals or shards or anything floating in the breeze, and we don't see people seeing each other the wrong way or through a negative light. This makes me think that those crystals we see in the trailer are actually the shards of the mirror. This would explain Anna's horror at seeing them. It also neatly explains the rest of the trailer. We see Elsa on a dark beach during a storm trying to run on the rough sea. We see several different scenes in a forest that is apparently dying. All of the leaves are falling off of the trees. We see Anna alone in a dark cave crying while holding onto her book. All of these scenes are extremely dark and depressing, but could these just be the repercussions of the broken mirror? Are the people of Arendelle once again stuck waiting for an act of true love to deliver them, and in the meantime they're in this dark and depressing world where they can see nothing good? If this is true, it would seem to me that the act of true love will again rely on Elsa. She seems very determined to be able to cross over the ocean. Maybe she's trying to get to the person that she loves. It's been rumoured for a long time that Elsa is going to get a partner in this movie, and specifically a girlfriend. It could be that Elsa's partner lives on a different island or in a different place, and Elsa needs to be able to cross the oceans to get to them so that she can free Arendelle. The book that Anna is holding may be the same book that we see in the first Frozen movie. This book is titled The Magic Encyclopedia. I've already done a video about it, and if you want to see it, you can click the card right up here. It would make sense that Anna is reading The Magic Encyclopedia if there was already stories or myths about a magic mirror that was going to break and turn everyone into darkness. Even the logo for this movie points towards the movie being dark and drained of life. Though the top half of the writing is the same blue as in the first movie, the bottom half of the writing is grey and just drained of all colour. This draining of colour and life is exactly what happens when a shot of the magic mirror hits your eye. The moral of the first movie was to learn to accept yourself and your flaws. The moral of this movie, especially if Elsa now has a partner, could be that the people you love will definitely have flaws and you should learn to accept those flaws and love the person with their flaws. I want to give a shout out to my friend Miley who helped me come up with this theory. She came up with the idea of looking at the magic mirror from the original fairy tale, so it's actually really thanks to her that I went down this rabbit hole and got to where we are now. Are you excited to see Frozen 2? Because I know I am. Please tell me in the comment section down below. And until next time, happy bubbles! If you want to see any of the other Frozen videos that I've done, you can click on the box on the left to find out why the winter was called eternal, or you can click on the box on the right to find out how Elsa got her powers. Please leave a like if you enjoyed this video and subscribe so you don't miss any future videos.